Hello, I think we're on renovation week 14 now <laughs> and uh, it's actually Wednesday today. I have just come to Staples Corner to direct wood flooring. We finally decided on the floor that we're going to buy so I'm going to order it this morning. It's a really quiet week with not much happening at the house this week to be honest because the builders are pretty much just done but they're just painting in between their other jobs so I think they're only going to be here on Friday and Saturday this week and Jas is helping them out all weekends and some evenings um, just to try and get the painting done a little bit faster so there's not much happening this week but last night we ordered the carpet which is great this morning I'm ordering the flooring I'm going to pop into Dunelm to see if they stock my curtains that I want for the living room although it looks like Dunelm has closed down no, that's Laura Ashley, okay. <laughs> and I'm also gonna pop into HomeSense because my aunt wanted a few bits. But on Monday, something very exciting happened. I was calling a few companies to find out the cost of getting the internal doors dipped and stripped. And I found the cheapest company. Most of them charge 25 pounds a door or it drops down to about 20 or 21 pounds, depending on where you live and how many doors you have. And then I found this one company that said, if you have five or more, it's 15 pounds a door. And we literally have five which is so good and funnily enough the guy was actually in our area that day on monday because they do it on rotation so he wouldn't have been there for another three weeks so i quickly called the builder <clears throat> he wasn't meant to be working but he would kind of like given himself a day off but he only lives like an eight minute drive from the house so he was like look i'm just gonna go and take your doors off the hinges for you leave them in the garden for the guy to collect because it just saves you a lot of time so i didn't actually get to like show a before of the doors obviously you will have seen like little clips of them in pre previous videos and stuff like that but they're coming back on Friday that's when they drop them off so I'm very excited to see what they look like I'm just it's just such an affordable price I never thought door stripping was so cheap they literally just dip them in acid I think and this company even neutralized them I don't know what that means but others have an additional cost to neutralize or to sand fill paint blah 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 but we'll do all that ourselves i'm really glad i found them actually and i hope it all works out well and they don't bring me the wrong doors back or whatever but yeah very excited to see those i think my builder was quite surprised as well that it was so cheap because i don't think he's heard of like having doors dipped and stripped um, the guy that i had to phone that was on the road coming to collect the doors the first time i phoned him i got his voicemail and it was really funny he was like hi you're three to john the stripper and I was like, who am I calling? But he's obviously stripping doors. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on with my missions because I want to try and be home by about lunchtime. And I keep waking up very stuffy. I think it's hay fever. I really hope it's hay fever and not that I'm coming down with a cold. But it's just that time of year, isn't it? So I've just put it flat down on the floor. I think the carpet actually looks fine with this. A little bit darker because obviously that's the light but yeah it's hard to tell i'm literally the only one in this shop actually it's typical that you can never find what you're looking for in home sense but i can't decide if i really like this mirror or not i don't know if this actually looks like it's brass if it looks like it's yellow i need to just start shopping for stuff that have a home <laughs> i don't know where this is going to go apart from in the guest bedroom but Typically they don't have the plant stand that my aunt wanted, which is just always the way, isn't it? So I've just found two chairs that I absolutely adore. This black and rattan one and this other one. I don't think I love the colours, I just really like the shape of it. I think that kind of matches with that. This one doesn't have a price tag on it, but I'm guessing it's about 150 quid because that one says it's 100. Why are chairs so expensive? This one's 60. I don't have a place for it, I'm thinking possibly like at my dressing table maybe <laughs> but i mean i don't need to buy a chair so i'm not going to oh but i was toying with the idea of selling our dining table before we move just because it's one less thing to move it's not going to look right in the house anyway and plus it's really old it just needs to go and i want a bigger one but we're not going to get that much money for it because it's so old and it's kind of battered and i think i'll probably get less than 150 quid which is the cost of one chair <laughs> I really love the shape of this chair. There's two of them, which would make a great pair, but I'm not spending 150 quid. I don't even love the colour of it. Why is this so difficult? 
oh my god why am i still here i've just found another one that i really like the navy will match perfectly in the kitchen this one's 80 pounds that has no place in my home yet i just love this chair so much it's just not gonna happen is it oh man okay it's just gone 7 p.m just and i've had dinner we've just got to the house there's been no builders in this week like i think i mentioned earlier so just is gonna start with some painting upstairs and i'm gonna um spray let me show you actually so i am going to continue spraying some bleach on this i'm supposed to be doing it every day but i obviously just do it as and when i'm here i don't know if this is probably a bit too optimistic of me but it kind of looks like it's lightening up a little bit it's quite hard to tell i'll do the side of the house too and then let me take you into the garage one second we just came in here to get the paint and the rollers and oh my god they've swept up <laughs> we weren't expecting this but actually i think it might be because they saw my video um maybe it was the last video the one before it where i was bitching about them smoking in here so it's nice and like relatively clean for a garage anyway and then what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to wipe these down clean them up because the washing machine and the dishwasher need to be listed on facebook marketplace first if not then ebay just to be sold because we don't need them anymore this we're going to keep temporarily and this is just some of our stuff as i think you've seen before so that's kind of what i'm doing then i'm doing the worst thing of all pulling up some weeds if it's still light if it gets too dark or too cold then i will just go and do some sanding inside but let me oh. But honestly, there are so many weeds everywhere. Like, is this normal? I pulled up so many weeds on Sunday morning and they all look like they've come back with a vengeance. It's so irritating. I don't know what to do. I just, I can't, like, is this what people that own houses have to deal with 24 seven in the summer? Should they grow back that quickly? I just don't know what to do. I wanna get some sort of weed killer. I know it's not like great for the environment, but honestly, this is a joke, like there's so, many i just don't know what to do but first things first i'm gonna get on with some bleaching as you can see behind me i don't think this is gonna focus but just has just showed me this is the living room and like they circled wherever bits needed to be filled and i think most of them have been filled and <laughs> can you see from here there are like so many all over the place but luckily i found a mouse sander so i don't have to do it by hand because like look at this for example it's just there's so much of it so this will be quite a fun job i reckon but i might do that earlier actually because i reckon it'd be quite noisy to be doing that um later on in the day how do you feel to be back here painting dress yeah depressing <laughs> i thought you oh. liked painting oh, just another day, isn't it? i absolutely hate painting so i'm trying to basically do everything else but paint because i would literally rather watch paint dry oh my god that was such a cheesy jazz joke wasn't it i have latex gloves on because i'm about to bleach the outside not because i think i work in like a medical field of some description i've literally just done the bit between the patio and that fence there were so many weeds some were really prickly some had those like white fluffy ball they're not flowers but those things that really set off your hay fever and oh my god I can't cope anymore how do people get rid of weeds oh my god please send me your best tips i just <laughs> i can't be doing this every few weeks okay i've just come to have a look to see what jas is doing and he's been painting this whole room which i'm gonna leave it down a second because i don't want to get done for copyright in my video but so interestingly this was the room that our neighbor did a mist coat on and now that jas sort of knows what he's looking for and under these bright lights. I think it's a poor job, really. Look at yeah. that. Look at, look at this bit here, the patch. Like, it's too. He's it's just really dark painting, like a really strong one on the, edge, on the edges. Yeah, like you can there. definitely see the border as well. Yeah. You can even see it on camera, actually, the edges. Yeah, I'm not I'm worried about what page is. You need to try your ones on it. I'm possibly going to cover these. This one, I've got this bit of paint on this. Oh, so annoying. So he's not really done a very good job, and in fact, it's probably worse than what we would have done ourselves anyway. <laughs> there were like loads of like splodges of paint that I think you've already just sanded this, haven't you? Yeah, and there's like quite yeah, a big one here as well. So it's kind of a good thing that we basically told him to just stop painting, really. Yeah. But now Jas is having to go over and undo all of his work. Not undo all of it, but. Yeah fix 
little bits of it. Oh my god, I think he's in his garden dress. I better keep the voice down. Well, the thing is, the only reason I'm getting other people through it is because I'm not trying to do it myself, that's all. Yeah, time is money and all that. Yeah, it's just... really hard work and it's very musty as well. You should actually be wearing a mask. I've been outside most of the time, but um, it's very musty in here because it's so dusty. We're definitely going to have to get a professional clean done. Oh my God, I've just been around the whole house looking for these. So these are like antibacterial wipes, but on steroids, I think it's what builders use and they're really, really good. But they're like a fiver, six pounds, maybe seven pounds a tub. You do get loads of them. And there's always been loads of these like packets floating around the house. I was looking for some and this one's empty. It's the only one that I found annoyingly. I think it's because the builders started to like tidy his stuff up. I mean, this belongs to the Tylers, so I think they're gonna come and pick it up whenever but i've noticed that he started to sort of gather his tools up into like one space ready for when he leaves because he's pretty much almost done not that you can really tell not that it really looks like it but he kind of is nearly done there was a guy here for half a day on monday and he's kind of loosely put the toilet on um you can't use it though because there's no flush and i don't think it's properly plumbed in but i've got a feeling that's going to be really low I don't know why, I just assumed it was a bit higher. So, I don't know, and I also think my towel radiator is gonna be very tiny. I actually don't know where we're just gonna hang our normal bath towels. It's interesting, because my aunt came around on Sunday and it's the first time she's seen the house um, in about two months. And she was saying as well that this bathroom now feels a bit smaller and it's weird because that's what me and Jas were thinking too. I'm just resting my hand here because I'm really tired. Um, it obviously isn't any smaller, but when the builders removed the old bathtub and the sink and the toilet and all the stuff and they were like prepping the walls, me and Jas were like, wow, it feels really small. And it was weird how it just looked smaller without all the bathroom stuff in here. And now that obviously it's been tiled, still feels quite small and I don't understand how or why it obviously isn't it might be what's this it might be because the recesses have come out ever so slightly more like this recess here but i don't know why i just don't understand because let me just show you when we first got the keys they had a toilet here it wasn't a back to wall one it was like some built-in ugly thing with a whole unit and the sink was actually here as well and then this was just the bathtub. And then I guess they had like a cabinet here and possibly a radiator down here. So it's almost the same layout. I just don't know how they would have got a sink in. I don't know, but maybe the toilet was a bit closer to the wall. It's really hard to tell, but it is a very small bathroom. And yeah, we just can't figure it out. Anyway, um, they're hopefully gonna be fixing this sometime soon. I just don't know what they're doing. They're not really here this week. And, um, I can't find these bloody wonder wipes anywhere. I was going to use them to basically clean down the washing machine and the dishwasher in the garage, but I think I'll just have to use... I'll use a sponge, right? What's that? I'll use a sponge to clean the dishwasher. Oh yeah, yeah, the big one, the big sponge. Okay. I guess it's really hard to see which bits you've just painted and which bits you haven't, right? Yeah. When it's white on white. There's also loads of like patches from the PVA that they put was that on top of the plaster? Yeah. It's not going to pick up on camera, but... Oh, God. You hear splashes. They look like dark splashes, isn't it? You look really scary, actually, because... You know when, like, you're lit from underneath <clears throat> your face? It's like a horror movie. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to busy myself with something that isn't pulling up weeds, because I'm sick of it. Okay, I'm running late as per usual, but it's a very exciting day today. The builders are in for the first day this week and it's Friday. But more importantly, I'm off to meet John the stripper <laughs> at the house. He's bringing the doors back, so I'm very excited to see what they look like now that they've been stripped and dipped. And I will show you when I get there. The doors are back and I was kind of expecting it to look like this. This is like super ugly, but I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out. And look. They've been completely stripped. The same handle, same everything. It's very 
very early on Saturday morning. About to have my breakfast in the car. I even brought a teaspoon with me. I didn't have time to wash any straws, but Jas and I are off to Wix to meet the builder there because we're going to go shopping with him. And then Jas is spending another Saturday working at the house, and I'm just going to do a few bits. I'm going to speak to the builder about a couple of things, and I'll go to a couple of shops, do a few bits, and I'll come home, do some work, <laughs> and then was that our neighbour Lee? Yeah. And then I'll go pick Jas up later on. Heavy is it, Jess? Oh, How really heavy, heavy is it? <laughs> it's like a workout first thing in the morning. It is, yeah. It's like, you know when you want to do rowing? <laughs> like, yeah, just my exercise for the day. Ready? I am. Because it does move, it's not that easy. Slow coach. Okay, check this out. I turn this on. The lights are working. It looks so good in here. Oh, maybe not on camera. Obviously the lights are not going to be facing the wall like that, but they do cast a bit of a green shadow. Oh, it's really cool. That's what we need, isn't it, for this time? Yeah, yeah. Is this all right as well? Um, I think we're okay. Is that a good thing? I don't think we're probably being fine, because the whole position may be here, I think. Isn't it? another frizzy hair day in the life of Nishi. Um, today has been a really busy day. Jas and I went shopping with the builder to two different Wixes. Wixes? I don't know, whatever. Wix. We went to two different branches because we were looking for like this self-leveling compound. We need to level out the floor before the flooring fitter can come in to lay it because otherwise it might be quite bouncy. Apparently the people that did the extension for the previous owners haven't done it properly and it was just really bumpy and it wasn't something that we'd originally asked our builder to do because often it's the floor people that do it or the floor fitters but the guy that we've got doing our flooring is just like super busy and he was like I don't have time for this just get it all sorted and then just get me in to literally lay the floor so I think it actually works out cheaper this way as well because Jas was helping the builder out so there was three of them today but we're only paying obviously two people and um, they got it done in a day we just had to buy all the materials and stuff ourselves so we went this morning I dropped Jas at the house and then I had to go pick up a few bits for the builders and I went home, I made dinner for tonight and then I came back this afternoon and my cousin and my uncle came to see the house for the first time which was really nice actually because um, my uncle was just telling me to make sure the builders do like a couple of bits that I didn't know of or hadn't thought of so that was quite helpful. I've already spoken to them about that, just changing over like an old metal drain pipe to like a new plastic one and stuff like that. So yeah, that was really nice. And then I've just come with Jas to Wix to return some bags of the self-leveling compound because we bought too many. It's always better to have more. It's always better to have more than not enough because you can always return things, but it just means that you have to like waste time in the middle of the day to go out and buy extra. So we're just returning them now. Then we're gonna go back to the house. And yeah, there's not really much going on in this video because the builders were literally only here for half a day yesterday. And a full day today and I think the 
the builder's not in tomorrow, but he's sending two guys in to do some painting, probably with Jas. I don't know how Jas feels about it, because it's a lot of work for him. Like, you know, five full days working full time, and then some evenings we're at the house painting, and then two full on days, um, just painting at the house Saturday and Sunday so he doesn't really get a break so he might do half a day tomorrow or just a few hours or whatever which is fine so we'll figure that out and um yeah it was really interesting to watch them like pouring the self-leveling compound and I was like does it literally just level itself out and they're like no we have to like smooth it out as best as possible because it only levels itself like a few millimeters so yeah, hopefully the floor is all straight and then the flooring guy can come in week after next and just lay it. The kitchen guy's coming next week and, well, hopefully, I just, I don't trust these people. They keep pushing dates forward because their current jobs or previous jobs are running over and it's just, oh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So yeah, that is basically all that is happening today. Oh, one more thing, which is really cool. The electrician has finally like sorted some of the electric so they now work in the house and he's been putting some bulbs into some of the light fittings and it's so cool because like they actually work i mean i didn't think didn't doubt that they would unless something drastic went wrong but but i was really excited to see like just one light bulb on in the downstairs toilet because i really wanted to see what the paint looks like when it's brighter and i'll have to see it properly once it's done but yeah it's very slowly getting there so that's Oh, and Jas is back. I'm getting really hungry now, actually. It's like, it's coming up to six o'clock. It's not even that late. And Jas is back, so we're now off to the house. Well, I thought to give the builder his keys. Oh, right. Are you ready, Jas? Yeah, I got them. <gasps> Whoa! There's light! I mean, Shining obviously, it running, faces though. the wrong way, so that it's kind of casting a green shadow, which is not a very attractive colour. But it's not, like, up properly oh, yet. Oh, is for that? Yes. Oh yeah. No, it's in case there's a problem with that. So this is the bit of the floor that we're leveling out. So they put some like timber here and to stop this uh, self leveling compound thing from basically running onto the wooden bit. That bit was already concrete and it looks really cool, doesn't it? I love the color of concrete. Doesn't it look cool, Jess? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Let me try and get this left. I didn't notice this earlier when I came upstairs, but they've put the, um... oh my God, they've done loads in here actually. The radiator's up on the wall. Once again, no idea how we're gonna hang a bath towel from in here. Most of the shower's up as well, which is so cool. Then I've got a ceiling mounted one, like a rainfall, a big one. But the reason we put this on this back wall and not here is so that it doesn't mess with the recesses and you can get more products on there. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. This is really cool actually. I love that we decided to put the thermostatic controls on the left because you can just turn it on before you walk into the shower there. This is a nice colour as well, actually. Really happy with that. This floor's still wet. <laughs> and we don't know how we're going to lock this patio door tonight. But Jas is also trying to shut the window handles. That's right. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough. We're still going to have to come back later. So many missions today just to come back once this is all set in a few hours and lock that door because I don't think we really thought that through but I'm obsessed with the colour of concrete like what is wrong with me and I'm very impressed at how, how this works to stop all of that concrete going onto the wooden floorboards and basically slipping through the gaps so they actually had to move all the kitchen further back because this is where the concrete floor starts from and it's really cool so hopefully tomorrow morning or whenever we come back this will be all lovely and smooth and polished. And I don't know what's going on now. I'm just waiting for Jas so we can go home. In true Nishi fashion, I forgot to end the video. I was literally just sat here editing it and I was like, hang on a minute, where's the ending? And I completely forgot to end it. I've only just realized it's now like a week and a half later. So spoiler alert, the floor leveling kind of worked not all of it worked we ran into a few problems the following week so you will see that in next week's video i'm just grabbing myself a snack but anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week with renovation week 
15 and 16 together. It's a two in one because there wasn't much happening. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!